Good morning. Today we're at the Manchon Museum of Contemporary Art for the Pierre Dorian exhibition. I have Mr. Marc Langto, who's going to explain to us everything about Pierre Dorian. How are you today? I'm doing very well, thanks. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So talk to us about uh, Pierre Dorian and his works, please. Well, Pierre Dorian was an artist who started making paintings uh, in the late 70s. Yes. He's been in Montreal his whole career uh, with uh, little stints in Paris and New York, like most artists. But he's also been uh, really closely involved in um, installation art in the early 80s and did okay. a lot of very different type of work of what we're actually showing here. Okay. And throughout his career, he's really gone through different stages. And what we've decided to focus on is uh, the stages uh, the later stages of his work from the mid-90s to today. So they're in the painting we have these uh, uh, paintings he made in Rome uh, in the in the mid-90s that were these uh, interiors of churches and interiors of, of museums and uh, the more recent works are much more abstract and much more difficult to kind of understand what's going on in, in them. So it's a wide range of work, uh, all figurative painting, but what's really hard to remember in some of these pieces is that even though we're looking at something that may look like nothing just a band of color or uh, two, three colors put together, they're actually done from photographs. So that's been something that he's done throughout his whole life. He'll take a picture of a scene and then uh, uh, make a painting from that picture. And depending on what type of uh, what type of scene it is, he will remove uh, a lot of details to make it look more abstract, more um, more difficult to recognize. So the mood of the space is there without it being uh, too descriptive, too illustrative of the space. And what are his particular influences? Well, he's been influenced uh, throughout his career by the, the idea of art history. And how come certain artists are uh, stay within history and become influential artists and what artists disappear from the world of history. So looking back at the history of painting is something that he's always done. And when he started off in his career, he was interested in the distant past, in like the 15th, 16th, and 17th century. But then later as his career evolved, he became more interested in the recent past, so the 1950s and 60s and 70s in painting. So he would try to find subject matters in day-to-day -day life that reminded him of the history of the recent history of art so he would walk down the street and see uh, a, a doorway and in that doorway the way that the way the door looked the way the light played on the door looked like an abstract painting from the 1960s so he would take a picture of that and then make a painting from it so what we're going to do is later on in the show we're going to go and look more deeply into Pierre Doyon's work so stay tuned we are still at the Montreal Museum of Contemporary Art for the Pierre Dorian exhibition, and I'm here with the curator, Mr. Marc Langto. Hi. So you chose a couple of paintings to talk about. Yeah, I chose this pair of paintings to talk about to sort of illustrate uh, the idea uh, of the evolution of his work in the last 10 or so years, where he, the type of scenes that he would see in the street and that would uh, catch his eye had, uh, had, uh, has evolved. Um, the painting uh, that's over here uh, called uh, arrangement. Um, what attracted him to this to this scene is how the alcove, that little space okay. that uh, that was just in the gallery district in, in New York City, uh, had these different this refuse. There's this kind of an aquarium, a sort of lobster aquarium, lobster tank type thing with a bottle of. Uh, soda on top, a little brick sticking out the bottom and a rolled up carpet. All that kind of reminded him of how sculpture or uh, sort of like uh, junk art could be paid. It seemed very intentional to him, but he just found it that way. So that was an, a, a, a kind of more of a complex scene that reminded him of uh, contemporary sculpture more than, than, than than the actual junk it is. But then later, a few years later, he walked down the same street and he came across the same scene at a different time of day. And here, it had, the scene, had, the place had been repainted and the, uh, the, the time of day it was much sharper shadows and the, the, the junk had been taken out. And so this, instead of looking more like a, like a three-dimensional space or a, a, sh a shallow space where objects uh, were displayed, it looked more like an abstract painting. So let's talk about this painting. Well, this painting is actually really interesting because it's, uh, it was part of a show that Pierre Dorian did in 1999 called uh, Chambre avec vue, 
what he decided to do then is uh, rent out an apartment uh, right off Parc La Fontaine, and overlooking the Parc La Fontaine in uh, this building called Les Dauphins, which is still there. It's a kind of a 1970s high rise, uh, very atypical for Montreal. He was drawn to this place because it overlooked Parc La Fontaine, and Parc La Fontaine was this you know, renowned cruising grounds for the gay community in the 80s. But since the AIDS crisis, cruising was out of the question. This became a really dangerous thing to do. So this sort of sadness of that location that he wanted to convey. So he decided to make a series of paintings that had a definite sad, melancholy mood to them and install them in this emptied out apartment overlooking the park. And uh, this painting uh, was made for that show specifically because it represents the room the painting was shown in. So what we're seeing here is uh, uh, the exact room that he installed that painting in at the time. And for the exhibition, we recreated that apartment in these small rooms. I want to thank you. I actually know Pierre Dorian. I personally know him now. Thanks to you. Oh, well, thanks. I'm glad you know him. <laughs> Good. If people like to see the exhibition, can you give us your website, please? Yes, it's at www.macm.org. Have a good exhibition. Thanks, man. Thank you.